Craig, latest signing, Blaine mm. Hudson. How long have you been tracking him? Yeah, obviously Blaine's been playing locally for quite a while. You know, obviously he's um, he's got a lot of a lot of conference experience. He's, you know, he's played for you know, I think he played over seventy games for Wrexham, and you know now, you know, speaking to a lot of people at um, Chester last year, and he was one of their best players. You know, certainly, you know, Chester had a very good um, very good record defensively. Up until possibly the last six or eight weeks of the season, certainly up to Christmas, and you know, and, and Blaine was a big part of that. So now it's um, it's a it's it's a real real good sign and real solid professional, someone that's going to bring experience, but still only 25. Someone that's going to bring great competition to the to the squad, and, and someone that's going to be, bring some uh, very good leadership qualities as as well as um, as well as you know clearly height in both boxes. Yeah, and as a six foot four centre half, he certainly brings some height to the team. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. And I think it's possibly something that, you know, we, we could do a little bit better with. You know, everyone knows how good we are as a football team. Everyone knows how good, uh, how comfortable um, all our players are on the ball and how we want to play. You know, and that is still the case. You know, I'm just not going to sign someone who can't play. So, you know, but I just think um, the opportunity come around. He's got, like I said, good experience. Good age, 25, um, 200 conference games, and also as well, you know, he's got a good, good goal-scoring record. You know, he scored goals from set players as well. You know, and also as well, like I said, in both boxes, he give with that, he give that added option and added extra aggression and height, and you know, in, in maybe games when when we need it a little bit more than others, and you know, but but as well, he can still play as well. It brings great competition, or you know, unfortunately. Um, Phil Baker moved on, like a Mehai moved on, you, you, you know, and, 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 and James Jones hasn't resigned, so, you know, we'll look at it and we'll have to strengthen that area anyway, and, you know, it's a, it's a really good strengthening uh, sign, and, you know, it, it, it bring real competition with that central defence area, because um, Steve Sohn and Conor Rawlinson were absolutely outstanding last year, but, but they're, they're going to have a bit of competition again this year, which, you know, it's been the TNS player. Every person in the squad and every person in the team has got competition for places. So, you know, I personally believe it brings the best out of everyone, and it's now it's up to it's up to them to to get in the first eleven. And in terms of competition, how key would you say, Craig, has been the competition for places in the success here at Parkhall? Yeah, without a shadow of doubt, I've been you know I've been asked a lot of times what, what's the key to your success, Craig, over the last five six years. It, you know, there's, I think there's fourteen. 14 or 15 trophies and six league, league um, championships and, and, and so on and so forth. But I do, I do believe a lot of it is down to um, daily competition for places. You know, training is is a very competitive um, place to be. It's it's a very competitive, edgy, daily basis of, of training as much as what a game is. You know, people want to get in the team. People train hard every week. In, in you know no doubt for the last three or four years I've had probably at least two players in each position that could play at any one time and it just depends how they've previ how their attitude's been how their fitness is how they've played in previous games but also as well how they've trained during the week so that's the that's the um, that's that's what I'm looking to do that's the plan and, and it, it certainly won't be the it, it's it's the first signing of the summer and it certainly won't be the last one TNS manager Craig Harrison thank you for your time today thank you.